Better than that. But why, why, why you talk with me like friend? Why I for me is loyal is number one. If right. you don't know what is this loyal, you have to go Google Translate. You play different game. There's no different game. Because it's called are, reporting game. It's not playing time. sides. Connor, Connor champion, you with Connor. Alvarez champion, you with Alvarez. But you don't I even understand come. when I understand you play different games. That's no. why I block you because a, a real, I'm loyal guy. The real loyal. All my life I stay with loyal guy with everybody who's who good with me. I all the time stay with loyal. You can feel that but, way. But but I feel you know loyal. That's why I block you. If I understand something about somebody, I listen to my heart. You understand? Or I think this guy play a lot of games. You know, this guy all the time team here, team here, team here. Alhamdulillah, I know you got this, they don't like this. Alhamdulillah, tomorrow night I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. We're going to examine all of the facts about the Islam Mahachev IV controversy. It all started when Dan Hooker accused Islam of using an IV in a series of tweets. They said, Dumb C thinks he can fly to Australia, hire a nurse to give him an IV, and we won't find out. Cheating dog. USADA doing F all. Prove me wrong, bet you can't. He doesn't cheat, he doesn't win, and Islam is a cheat. After the accusations, people started circulating pictures of Islam during fight week with what looks like a bruise on his arm as evidence backing up the claims that Islam used an IV. The head of USADA, Jeff Nowitzki, debunked the mark on Islam's arm. Okay, Jeff. What happened with Islam? Is that an easy question or is that a hard question? I think it is. I think the Australian Commission put out a statement last night saying there's no credible evidence that of him violating any of their rules. Yeah. Um, so, I mean, I think leave it at that. Do you think it's a In response to Hooker's accusations, the UFC distributed their USADA IV policy to the public. Brett Akamoto and Jeff Nowitzki both tweeted it. Aaron Bronstetter also stated that UFC sent emails out about these rules. This IV policy has been in place since 2019, and it states that fighters are allowed to be given IVs of more than 100 milliliters, as long as it's done by a licensed professional. Shortly after the UFC tweeted out the IV policy, Ali tweeted and then deleted the following. For all those idiots it's out there. Any fighter under the UFC banner can take two to three liters of IV as long as it's done by a nurse or a professional. Next week, I'm going to expose everybody. Islam Mahachev is the pound for pound king. The next day, Ariel commented on Ali's tweet by saying he deleted it because someone, I would think, told him he was incriminating himself with this tweet. You can't take two to three liters by a professional or not. It's 100 milliliters per 12 hours, massive difference. So Ariel is actually wrong. There's no limit in the USADA policy. So in fact, two to three liters wouldn't be in violation of USADA rules. Ariel tweeting out misinformation about the IV rule, incorrectly calling the amount incriminating, fueled this narrative that Islam is guilty. When you realize that Ali was actually correct, it seems like Ali was just trying to throw it in Dan's face that he was accusing Islam of something that isn't even banned by USADA. He didn't say anything about Islam using an IV. As a journalist, Ariel is ethically obligated to disseminate accurate information, but he has yet to issue a correction. Ariel utilized misinformation to create a false narrative that Islam is guilty. Unfortunately, Ariel has a history of this kind of bias against certain fighters. You can check out this video for more information about that. Ariel also didn't bother to report on anything else involving this situation, and there were several developments. On Friday, February 17th, the Combat Sports Commission of Western Australia said there's no evidence of IV use, and no one has even submitted a complaint. The head of USADA, Jeff Nowitzki, also confirmed that Islam has been cleared. Lastly, Islam's manager Rizvan, Ali, and Islam himself have all flat out denied any use of an IV. To summarize, there is no evidence whatsoever that Islam used an illegal IV for UFC 284, and he has been cleared by both USADA and the commission.